Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using the Supreme Modules plugin. We're going to create this simple icon list really easily and quickly. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder, build on the front end. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'll just simply get rid of this module right here. Okay, so I've got a a column with uh, a row with two columns. Uh, the last one we got that Yachty animation in we did with the last video. Let's add a new module. And light grey ones are all the standard ones that come with the Divi. And these bluey sort of purple ones, you get ones you get with the supreme modules and the one i want to actually use today is called supreme icon list now you can build these with blurb modules with the actual divi elements yourselves but this just makes it a lot easier because it's sort of got everything in one place for you so let's add a new item there it is it's already put a little icon and a bit of text in there so if we open up the content, this is where you put your title, obviously. Uh, you can choose to you use an icon or not. If you don't, well, it's just a list. I <laughs> think it's a good idea to use an icon. And you've got all the elegant themes, icons to choose from down here. So let's just choose any one you want. Now you can choose to have a tooltip as well if we will roll down a bit. And what a tooltip is, is if you roll over something, it'll pop up and tell you a bit of information about it. So if we open that up, we'll say use tooltip. And you can write in here what you want your tooltip to say. And there it is. Obviously, if you want to link this to something, this is where you put the link. I don't really at the moment, but if you've got a product list or a menu, it's a good idea. I want it to open in the same window if it's on the same site, obviously. I'm not going to put a background in. Let's move over to our design. Now the icon, let's just make that perhaps purple. And let's make it a little bit bigger. something like that don't want to add anything else to it let's go on down to the we've got not not got an image to so the tooltip itself background color of the tooltips black at the moment change it to whatever color you want and you can adjust the padding and size and everything of that as well I'm pretty happy with everything the way it is with that now the text itself, text indent, distance it is from the actual icon itself. I want to take that up a little bit. There we go, fantastic. And let's make that blue and semi bold. How's that? You can even make it capitalized, why not? Great, so that's looking good. Now all I want to do is copy it over for the number of times I actually want to use it. So let's save this hit the two little squares there to clone it over however many you want and simply go in change your title put a different icon in there and continue now I'll just do the rest of these quickly no point you watching me do it there we go so I've just gone in and I've changed the icons I really haven't changed anything else because I haven't got anything else to say about them but that's a great looking little icon list now if you get this far and you decide that perhaps you want to space them out a little bit more it's really easy to do let's save this we're in the main module again let's go into the first one and put the space underneath that we actually want so let's go to design and spacing 
and let's give it a little gap between the two let's say put 10 pixels on the bottom just put in 10 it'll put in the pixels for you if you're happy with that gap rather than having to go into each one we'll just say this one we can right click on that first module right there extend the item styles now I want to, don't want them to extend to everything on the page but I do want them to extend to everything in this column so I'll select that and hit extend and there you have it got equal spacing on each and it's great great little thing to have on your site so well done Divi Supreme modules I'll just add a little bit of padding to the top of the main module itself there we'll bring it down a bit in line design let's give it 50 pixels on the top even give it a more a bit more let's make it a hundred that'll work fine so there is a very quick and easy to do little icon list let's exit the visual builder and there you have it there's a very quick and easy to do little icon list with the Divi Supreme modules plug in there so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day